Here we go. Hello, all of my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. We're the Hewitt Homestead from Jacksonville, Florida, and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. What's up, Homestead homies? Man, oh man, we are on the go. It's very hot and humid. Welcome to July in the Midwest. And uh, as I promised you guys earlier in the video, we're going to start talking about the inside of the outdoor kitchen. Um, basically, has become a huge storage bin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I don't like it. I mean, I have my tools in here and uh, the gas can for the generator. I got some stuff over here from Andorra and from Tough Tex. Um, just stuff that I was using for the builds that I haven't really put anywhere yet. Um, you know, just the washing machine. The washing machine. But this is kind of going to be the, um, also it's going to kind of be the wash room. So we're going to incorporate that into maybe a later time when I'll build like a standalone little wash room for. Her. But um, I got the bee spinner in here for the honey, which you guys will see coming up pretty soon. And I mean, just like a bunch of stuff in here. So what we did do is we scored some cool cabinets. Um, what was the name of them? Oh, I knew you were going to forget. I, I, keep I forgot forgetting. too. We keep having Here, I'll flash it, it right here for you. Yeah. But um, we, we scored some really cool metal cabinets for out here, and they were white. And um, uh, here's what they kind of look like. And I really spruced them up. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it was a, a standalone uh, counter with a sink, a double sink. And it's also um, two cabinets for the wall. So we got those, and uh, we did a little uh, magic to them. Well, actually, you can see the two cabinets in the background right behind Stacy. See them right there? She put her color love on them. And then, uh, so this is going to be like a really fun area. Um, we're going to have a lot of color. She's going to put her plants in here. We're going to have seating for a lot of people. We're going to have seating for just us. Um, and, you know, we're going to have cooking areas. Um, so we're just a lot of things are going on. But today, uh, for you guys, it might be kind of a boring video because we're just kind of showing you what we're doing. We're going to move all this stuff out. And then we're going to try to start figuring out how we're going to set up um, the appliances that we're bringing in as far as the cabinets go and the barbecue grill and we have a few other um, things coming that are going to help us cook out here. Yeah, lots of different alternatives to cooking off grid, right. not just like a propane right. uh, grill. So that's what's so cool about it. Yeah, and then we're going to do something in between the kitchen and the log home and that's coming up too. So just stay tuned. We're going to run through this video with you guys pretty quick. Just kind of keep you, you know, informed on what's going on. And then later this week, you're going to see the garden update. Um, so here we go. One load down, one to go. <laughs> Whew, two trucks loaded. Now we got the uh, Stacy sweeping up real quick. And then we're just going to kind of preliminary lay out what's going on. We're going to show you guys. But then I have to stain the inside of the um, kitchen. So right now I'm going to enjoy some Haymakers Punch. We did a video about it. It's right there. So refreshing on a hot summer's day. Oh man, I'm just telling you, make sure you follow that recipe and drink it all summer long. It's really good. Don't drink too much though. All right, now we got to move the icebox around and then start bringing in the stuff and then just kind of show you guys what's going on. All right. So I have my haymakers punch break, and then I started uh, staining this walls, the walls here. I never really stained the inside of the um, kitchen here. Last year when I finished putting it together, because we were getting into the uh, winter time, and you know I just didn't really feel like it. I probably used up a lot of steam on just getting the build done. So I have to come back now. I'm staining everything inside the kitchen now. Uh, because you know it, it doesn't have windows on it so it gets a little wet inside of here and then what we'll do after I get done standing this wall is we're going to try to rearrange the furniture or arrange the furniture in here um, so we can kind of get an idea on how we want to set up the the grill and the cooktops and the stainless steel table and the sink and the counters and the cabinets 
because all that stuff's going to go roughly uh, right along this back wall. So I'm getting my stain done now, and of course, you know, you guys don't want to watch, you know, it's like watching paint dry. You don't want to watch me just do this whole stain. But you can see um, how it changes the color, which is good. Um, I like that, and also it's going to protect it. So we'll get lots of many, many years uh, of enjoyment out of it. So let me get this uh, part stained up, and then I'll be back with you guys, uh, and we'll show you how the sink and the table and everything is going to go kind of together and uh, you know we'll just keep moving along on this project and then don't forget um, we have a live show coming up Thursday and that's weather permitting so if the weather permits uh, we have like an 80% chance of rain and all of a sudden it popped up now but if the weather permits uh, the All-American Sun Oven guy Paul will be here we're going to answer your questions about the All-American Sun Oven and we're going to tell you guys how you can register uh, for a giveaway. We're going to give away an All-American Sun Oven. So I'm going to get going on this, and then I'll catch up with you guys here in a minute. And then we'll uh, you know, see how it all comes together. Whew. Man, it's a little toasty out here. All right, I got my back wall stained. I got a little bit of the side wall stained, but I can knock that out. Um, a little bit later. So what we're gonna do is Stacy and I are gonna bring in the um, Sink and this table and we're gonna set the grill up and we're gonna show you guys three different ways um, Of how it would look and then what we want you guys to do is leave a comment down below or Answer this survey that's right there and say which way that you like uh, the best of how it's gonna be set up So we'll explain to you what our thought process is Give you the information that you guys need and then we're going to let you guys because you did name the outdoor kitchen uh, we're going to let you also set up uh, the uh, prep table and the grill and the sink area um, and we're going to go off your guys' suggestions and we thought that would be kind of cool so we're going to bring in the furniture show you guys the first clip of how it's going to look and then we'll rearrange it, show you another one, and then rearrange it and show you another one. And then you guys are going to decide by leaving a comment down below or answering the poll question that popped up um, a little few seconds ago. Because <laughs> I can't do the poll question twice. All right, so uh, next shot is going to be you guys uh, seeing the first setup. All right, so this is our first setup. Uh, and our idea with it was, here's our sink. We're having our outdoor shower right back there, so we'll have good water access right here. And then here's our stainless steel table and then our grill. So that's option one. All right, so option two is keep the sink here because we have water access behind it. The grill is here now, and then the stainless steel table will be kind of um, out like an L. And then I think I would like to put a couple, I have some old bar stools that we could put there. So if anyone's helping me, if I'm doing the preparing of food or whatever, I can do it over there. And this is option three. So the grill is here now. And then we got the kitchen counter. And don't forget, we have two cabinets that are going to go wherever this goes, they go above it. So just don't forget about that. And then we have the stainless steel steel table there. So that's option three. All right, guys, so that's it. That's today's uh, update on the outdoor kitchen. We're moving right along. Uh, we've given you guys three options um, on how we want to set up this back wall. So you guys chime in below in the comments or again, uh, hit vote, the- Vote, vote, vote. One, hit, two, three. Hit the uh, I up in your left-hand corner right up here and it'll drop down and there'll actually be a poll question there and you can leave um, your vote. And we're only gonna run this for a couple days because I need to get everything put in and getting going on, so. Because we got lots to do in here still. This is just one part. Yeah, so this is, uh, today's what, Monday. So I'll leave this up till Thursday. So uh, just a couple days. So Thursday is what day? The 23rd? No. 23rd? Uh, no, I know, 12th. I know, it's not the 23rd. <laughs> What's today? 13th. Today's the 13th? No, Thursday the 13th. Thursday is the 13th of July 2017, so that's how long we're going to leave it open for. Uh, 5 o'clock Thursday night, we're going to look at the poll questions, and we're either going to override it or go with it. <laughs> so, whew, that's it. It's hot as heck out here. I'm going to drink some more Haymakers Punch. This is Off Good with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. I'm Stacy, and, and we'll don't see forget you guys. to check us out on.
Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.